Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Cly's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy, and last time we spent the vast majority of our time awaiting for brand new duplicates to appear. Duplicates did keep on appearing in the same manner as they always do every sort of couple of uh, cycles or so. Three, I think. I think it's three cycles, but unfortunately we did not, not get the people that we're after. But straight away, today, we get someone who can be our janitor for us. Tommy is welcome to the group. We're going to set him up as a groundskeeper, and we're going to give him a bed in the top left bunk. You know where those inferior people live. We're going to put them over there. I also spend a little bit of time just kind of um, moving people around in their job positions, mainly the... Um, mainly the research and the operators. We are working towards exosuits today. Today is the day that I really want to be able to uh, protect my guys when moving out and about. But unfortunately, despite my best laid plans, things just keep getting in the way of me and uh, getting the exosuits uh, down. We will manage to get a little bit of infrastructure in place, but at no point will we actually manage to get the full exosuit network down in place. We're going to spend the first day watching uh, Tommy in his first day as a janitor. He's going to spend the majority of it walking around and picking up the polluted water and dumping it in the in the hole where the polluted water belongs. It's actually really good. Shroudskis, of course, also lending a hand with this job. The two guys going around doing very similar jobs, but not actually the same. Shroudskis, of course, is the guy who provides the materials for the factories and the work sites and the jobs and the build and stuff like that. Whereas Tommy is the guy who's going to go around and pick up everything off the floor and put it in places where it belongs. Now, now, for a lot of the majority of those times, these two jobs are going to look the same because Shrouticus can also go and pick the stuff off the floor for the jobs. So, whilst the end point is a little bit different, they, they do look like a very uh, similar jobs. Uh, looking around, I noticed that um, my waste water tank is starting to get a little bit full, and that's something to work on there. But right now, I'm going to start allowing my uh, airlocks to be slightly larger. I need to get some space in for things like hygiene, exosuits, stuff like that. So, uh, widening those off for that. And uh, decided that maybe maybe slime lung has got its uh, got its claws in my asteroid just a little bit too much here and this is mainly due to all the exposed slime that is uh, around so i spent some time putting down tiles around the edging trying to contain everything behind a tile and i think that'll work out wonderful i'm still very confused as to where the polluted water in my cold biome is coming from i i don't know i don't know so anyway noticing that my gray water tank is starting to get a little bit over full i think it's time to start thinking about a second one obviously we want to let the first one sit for a little while so that it may um get rid of any germs without getting a fresh input coming in it's nice and simple in concept anyway but this means we need to have a second tank for the dirty water to go into whilst that first tank is sitting around and waiting so we will get on with that and hopefully ZTech uh, Captain Subs Brum these are my building crews and they will come along and do that for us but talking of ZTech I think I've got another job for him that uh, underneath of oh oh I've just noticed there is a natural gas um, geyser over here so I'm going to build myself on almost exact copy of the natural gas power plant that we have uh, further up. But yeah, underneath the uh, sleep wheat, we keep on getting a polluted water problem. We are all aware of this. We do, we do keep seeing it. So I decide to let ZTech cut a small hole through to a cavern that's just a little bit beyond it just to get rid of it. And now the first of the problems start introducing themselves. Slime Lung, despite my earlier uh, attempts to contain it, those attempts were not, were not fruitful. They were not good enough. We end up getting people coming down with Slime Lung. And of course the people that go out into the mess are the ones who come down with it the hardest. People like ZTech, Bra, um, Captain Subs, uh, Shrouticus, they all expose themselves to Slime Lung uh, quite severely. So, I'm putting down the infrastructure for dealing with the polluted water that comes out of the natural gas generator. So, uh, we need to start running some pipes around all over the place. The hardest bit, actually, is trying to decide what to do with the polluted water, where to put it into my polluted water system. And as I've got a polluted water pipe just up there, I decide that that one is the best. And this actually connects my two waste outputs from my natural gas uh, 
uh, generators into the same pipe. I don't know whether that's going to mean we have some sort of backup or blockage or anything like that. I uh, literally uh, do not know. I'm also spending a little bit of time thinking about where we're going to put things like a filter and gas outputs and stuff like that. I uh, really need to figure out a way of getting into that gas chamber without just letting it all vent wherever it would care to go. So great people have come down to start work on this. This is, this is a good place to go. Uh, I also decide that maybe it is time to properly cap my water tank, my actual clean water tank. Uh, it's not so much capping, rather put a proper floor down uh, above it. And I'm wondering what to do about that sort of block of natural materials that is just above my water tank there. I'm, I'm thinking I want to take it out, but I've also got quite a nice handy airlock there that uh, stops it overflowing if the water fills up anymore. Uh, we're going to start building some gold amalgam because I feel a little bit of... Um, Automation is on order, uh, and also so that we can build the Exosuit Forge and stuff like that. These are all uh, all stations that need refined materials to uh, work. For some reason, people don't seem to be coming along and working on the water tank here. Uh, it's not too much of a problem, and the fact that I've got all these jobs off to the left-hand side might actually have something to do with a while that why this is going on. I also decide that maybe, just maybe, I want to try and separate my slime distillery from the rest of my base so I start putting down some blocks for that another night comes down and you guys may have seen the uh, duplicate printer being like hey I've got some duplicates for you none of them were anything that I was looking for I'm, I'm looking for janitors I'm looking for more operators I'm looking for more maybe builders I'm not entirely sure about that though but definitely janitors and operators and quickly in the background I'm going to interrupt myself just to point out what's going on here uh, we had a med bay but nobody was set up to actually be able to care for people everyone all all had uh, priorities that were much much higher so we're gonna send the sacrificial Tommy in uh, and let him be the person who can care for people thankfully in the med bay he doesn't actually have any chance of being contaminated from the people he's working on but I actually don't have enough med bays for all the people that are getting ill with slime lung right now so I start putting down some around the outside and from there, maybe a little bit of uh, contamination will go. In fact, the med bay situation is so bad that Zedtech is walking around just, just spreading slime lung because he, unfortunately he has come down with it, but I don't have the med beds to uh, deal with him. Uh, another three... Uh, Captain Subs and someone else, I didn't quite see who that was, I think it was Sir Steve actually uh, all came down pretty hard with the slime lung there, uh, same as Zedtech did but you know he's he's walking around and toughing it out because he's the man. So you can see this is the cavern that I was talking about of trying to let the uh, polluted water run down and into another hole there, just just to get it out of the way, just to get it out of the way. So yes indeed it was Sir Steve, actually Shrouticus who was ill, not Brum, and then another three in the lower bed. The other guys going around doing their work the best they can but uh, I keep looking at the germ overlay and being like oh no uh, we've got slime lung everywhere so one of the things you will notice that I'm doing is putting down a lot of deoxygenators deodorizers sorry the deoxygenators are the ones that take the algae and turn it into oxygen whereas the deodorizers take the polluted oxygen and turn it into fresh oxygen and the reason that I want to turn it into pure clean wonderful breathable oxygen is because that uh, kills germs it's as simple as that germs cannot survive on that it needs the polluted oxygen to live so, with that situation in hand, we find ourselves in a bit of a situation of a holding pattern. Obviously, the people that go and do the majority of the, uh, like, expansionist work are also the people that expose themselves to the majority of slime lung. So, those people, the ones that get the expansion done, are the ones that get ill first. And we find ourselves in the holding pattern of waiting for anyone who's not the janitor to get all well again. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long. As long as we have people that are caring for our duplicates only takes about um, 1.2 cycles for people to clear a proper slime lung infestation out of them. The things we're going to do to try and fix this, as I stated earlier, was to uh, get the uh, deodorizers down and try and clean up my base. The, the base is the big issue. Whilst the base is dirty, people walking around in home space are going to be getting ill, and that is not great. The main... Uh, the main... Uh, contributor to this problem is of course the slime distillery downstairs it turns a lot of uh, actual like 
area aerosized, yep, words, uh, slime into slime lung problems in our base. Uh, Shroudskus has been fixed, and now Zedtech has gone and taken his place in uh, the med bay. One thing I do want to try and figure out is the feeding system in the med bay. At the moment, everybody who gets ill has to trace all the way across the base to the food production facility to go and pick up their food to then take it back to med bay to eat it there. Uh, I don't know if that is a big problem or whether they still class as being like under the med bay care or anything like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but obviously, with everybody down, we're waiting to build this water tank. And this is kind of the big issue, is getting this water tank uh, built. I have noticed that we also have a bit of a polluted oxygen issue. Uh, that makes sense, given that we're pouring polluted water on the floor, and polluted water has this habit of outgassing polluted oxygen. No biggie there. The extra med bay bed that we've got outside. It's not even a med bay bed, it's just a med bed. Uh, I decided I don't like it where it is. I rip it down. Uh, I, it's, it's only really going to be for an emergency situation. The reason that I rip it down is because occasionally, just occasionally, when people get ill, they can jump into one that's like not inside a med bay. That's bad. Don't want that at all. Anyway, shape or form. One thing that I do want though is for these duplicates to start putting down these extra tiles that I've put in place. It's all great them focusing on some of the, uh, the major works, like the water tank and stuff like that, though I wish they would come Kind of hurry up and focus on that water tank before it fills up all the way. Uh, I also really want to get these uh, tiles done and to aid that I have a quick look around see what the local materials are and build it out of local materials so that they can make them out of anything that just happens to be lying on the floor. That will uh, immensely speed up uh, the process. One thing I don't like though is Captain Subs whilst he's covered in germs climbing into my water. No, it's a no bueno, you know, it's a really bad situation. So we go and lock the doors, put down a couple of oxygen deodorizers, realize that, you know, I've locked the door, so they're not going to be able to get in there. And welcome Hollywood to the group. He, of course, is being sent to the barracks of the non-patrons. You go and live up in the dirty oxygen, sir, but you are going to be my rancher. You're going to be the person that goes through and deals with all the animals. Now, I um and are about how to deal with this water at the top of my uh, natural gas generator up here for quite some time. Uh, time I decided that I actually just end up leaving it where it is but that's all right that's fine for those of you wondering what's going on with that natural gas generator over there the geyser itself is on a cooldown period so whilst all the infrastructure is in place we've got to wait for it to, to actually start outgassing again which is not great and that's why I'm building the second generator down below and we'll hook them both up to the same power system they can provide power for the entire base I'd also like to get uh, my oxygen system being less algae dependent and then start making like uh, water Water splitting situations but at the moment we still only have a finite amount of water we're not receiving extra water from anywhere this is why my water recycling system is a quite important later on when we find ourselves a, a water geyser a steam geyser somewhere as I'm sure we will do probably maybe I don't know we will essentially have infinite water and with that infinite water we can split it into hydrogen and oxygen and power our base of, uh, with the excess hydrogen and that'll be pretty nice okay so I'm now starting to build the water tank in the ice biome obviously the water that has been de-germifying in the hot biome is pretty hot. It's at somewhere about 40 degrees centigrade. That is too hot to pump straight into our base as it is. So we want to try and make ourselves a nice little, uh, nice little area around here. And of course, we want to have a lower layer for the water to to pull into so that the pump can go there. Uh, I noticed that all my duplicates are going to try and go to bed right now. That is no good because if you look in my water tank down below, the water outflow pipe has blocked up because the pressure is too high. This is no good. This now means that all my water, all my dirty water is starting to back up in the pipes. This means no toilets. Well, that, well that's it. That's, that's just mainly the first one. There are no toilets. That means that people are going to start peeing everywhere. When they start peeing everywhere, they're going to start like getting germs everywhere. When they start getting germs everywhere, they're going to want to use a sink. But they can't use the sink because there's nowhere for the water to go. So that's a, a pretty serious problem of mine. So I, I start um, messing around with the uh, priorities, start getting a little, just a little bit of... Um, red alert on the go but you also notice that we've got a little bit of dirty water in my hot in my hot water tank I, I don't know exactly what happened to make that happen i can't remember uh, exactly but uh, thankfully it's just kind of sat in that little area down there so you'll notice that underneath it i have asked a tile to be changed and this should hopefully 
let it drop on the floor. That that should be fine. Just the dirty water, drop on the floor, leaves everything clean. It might have a few germs in it, but you know what? It's in the de-germing tank, so that is a fine. Uh, I decide that it's probably a good idea to put some tiles across the top of my like mini cold airlock there. It's not really an airlock, it's a heat lock, right? Um, and that may that's mainly so that we can put the pipes through, no problem. And you can see my uh, idea of getting the water to drop through works out beautiful, beautiful. We do have a little bit of a problem where the clean water might end up going into the dirty water pump and if that happens then it's going to break my uh, my filter and stuff like that not the biggest problem as it turns out thankfully we just go along and do a little bit of a mop job and everyone's like hey we can pick up the water but the, the dirty water is going to stay there because there's a lot of dirty water and there's only a little bit of small water so that's all good that, that's great and we're going to have another night of rest all right beautiful you can notice that there are a few problems around the base things like the kitchen has got no power at the moment that's because like another three has been ill a lot and stuff like this and he's not going to sort his own place out uh, i also have a quick look around to see how the jobs are going down towards the other natural gas generator there ignoring this in favor of the water i oh, fine that's fine that's great I'm, I'm all about that we're gonna get hollywood and shadow who are both my farmers at the moment because obviously hollywood has not le leveled up high enough to be able to become a rancher uh to start moving things like the weeds warts around and of course there are the sleep wheat and the millworm to deal with so hopefully they are going to level up enough to be able to get us a rancher and then when we start ranching i don't know i'm not sure exactly what i want to get i want some way of cleaning this lot up though maybe 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 what we want is one of like we want a puffed right we want to put a puffed inside our algae distillery room so that any slime that gets or any polluted oxygen that gets out gassed from the slime can be turned back into slime with the puffed uh, i also kind of want a morb i'm not sure about that actually like morbs are great but they only produce polluted oxygen which you can then obviously turn into normal oxygen and rah 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 so that's that's kind of a nice little cyclical system there that we might do uh lower down there's some things called slicksters and they eat your carbon dioxide and produce oil all about that and then we got these drex the uh, the things that are crawling around on the right hand side of the screen there the sort of like the the, the half half mole half sheep that they've uh, introduced so that's pretty good we're already pumping water into the secondary tank there so all the problems of the dirty water are uh, are gone absolved and we can deal with that I, I think i believe now if i remember correctly that the dirty water actually came from the um from the pipe there i can't i can't remember I, I will have to try and figure out exactly what happened there at some point maybe you want to go back and watch it in the slow-mo uh, of course the youtube bottom right now has that nice beautiful little cog that enables you to speed up and slow down video so if you think i'm talking a little bit too fast why don't you just press the slow down button because now i'll sound a little bit like this that's not at all what i'll sound like i'll sound like all, all glitchy and audio-y but that that's fine right that's fine so i went back and had a look about where that water came from and one of the construction crew actually had a little pee in the top tank when the uh, insulated tiles were getting replaced down below so one tile got taken out and a little bit of pee dribbled through sounds great for your water tank right sounds amazing all right well with that in mind i have been putting the uh, the wires down to get the pumps inside the tanks to be operable you can see i've got some switches on there turns out that's a bit of a bad idea and we'll find out why in a little while but first i need to concentrate on getting that secondary tank open secondary tank i don't, I don't know we've got we've kind of got like the gray water tank Tank, which is uh, a double tank if you will this one on the right here uh, and then we have this last stage tank the cooling tank is it a cooling tank it's going to be a cooling tank that's all i'm going to use it for is to pump hot water into uh take the temperature of the water down by the pump and then uh, when it gets down below a certain temperature i don't know 10 degrees 15 degrees i don't want to let it get down too close to freezing uh, but once it reaches to a right temperature turn the pump on bam suck all the uh, nice chilled friendly water yeah friendly water into my uh, my base and that should also give a little bit of a almost passive cooling if you will. i suppose it is quite quite active cooling where we pump colder water into the base lower the base temperature yeah that works out pretty well so i spend the next quite long time actually getting a little bit frustrated trying to figure out how to move things around here obviously the duplicates they have their own set of ideas of what they want to do and most of the time they're based on how long ago the job got placed uh, obviously there are other priorities and stuff that layer on top of that but they uh, definitely is some sort of like time-based system uh, at play here uh, and sometimes that means that the latest job that you put down and that you want to get done doesn't get done for a little while it's a it's a small little quirk of the way things work it's um i suppose one of the one of the problems you have from running such a large 
society like this is sometimes other things come in first. You can see that I'm doing the advanced plumbing research there. That is because I want to be able to isolate my water from the outside temperature once we've got it to the right temperature. And that, of course, means an insulated water pipe. Don't have those until I do the advanced pumping uh, research. So away, uh, I believe it's Mad Frank and Sir Steve go to do that. We're watching Captain Subs go around here and make the place safe. You can see that I am blocking off the vast majority of exposed slime there just to try and cut down the, the, the amount of aerosized slime lung that's uh, up and about and causing my duplicates a whole load of trouble. Tommy going around doing the wonderful job of picking up all the rubbish. Unfortunately, it, you know, everything's so far away and it takes him so long to walk into the base. Maybe we want to try and like move stuff. He's moving all the, uh, the, the waters, if you will, the ices, the polluted ices and stuff like that down to the... Oh, is that where the polluted water comes from? in my in my uh, storage compactor there because obviously it's near the edge of the biome so maybe it's temperature is not cold enough to keep the polluted water frozen mm, all right mystery may be solved guys i will uh, do some experiments about that maybe move that storage compactor deeper into the biome so we don't actually ever have to lose it all right so we've got an exosuit forge there and i'm gonna hook up the power the exosuit forge is definitely one of the things that i'm most looking forward to just so we don't have to send tommy and such forth through the red ridiculousness of the polluted oxygen i mean just look at it did you did you see that f9 overlay there the the germ overlay that was um quite thick with green dots green dots of course are slime lung incarnate if you will all right looking at this cold water tank the first thing i want to try and do is get rid of that bottom ladder bam thank you very much i think that was brum the reason i want to do that is because i want to put a temperature sensor in there we do not want to have water freezing i suppose if we have like little bits of water in there that freeze into ice and then people come along and, and fix that that's no problem but if it freezes in the pipe that's a bad because then we need to get a plumber in to fix everything and i don't think we have a plumber at the moment uh I, that's kind of like one of the next levels of tidy which seems a little weird because the plumber is all about like ripping down pipes uh which you would have thought would have been like a a build job if you will also small problem with the water underneath the farm you might be able to see there that the air pressure is actually holding it back from the hole i don't actually acknowledge this during this entire playthrough so it's gonna have to be something that i go back and change uh later shroud's just also joining in with the great tidy up here and we're just gonna sit here and watch for a little while or at least i did in irl uh waiting for people to come along and uh, sort the tank out but of course the bane of any duplicate overseer's life Nighttime comes in. No, not just nighttime, but downtime as well. Downtime, very important. Uh, the duplicates uh, were available for the pickup there. Nothing interesting at all. Obviously, there's only a few jobs that I want to allow extra people into the base for. Uh, mainly, mainly, it turns out I just need more janitors. If I could get like an entire room full of people with uh, the the janitor skill, the tidy up um, affinities, that would be great. I, I would be a very happy man at that point. So with most of the water processing in place, it's time to start thinking about how we are going to get this water into my actual main water tank. The first thing I'm going to do is try and output it on the other side of the water lock so that it can carry on filling up the water back there whilst not spilling out into my main base. And then we backtrack all the way to the cold water tank. Now the reason I've decided to backtrack is just I, I kind of feel like I'm going to get a better line if I do that. If I'm uh, going forwards from the tank, I'm always going to be like the water tank's over here, right? Or it's going over that way. Whereas I know exactly exactly where the cold water tank is in relation to like the airlock or whatever so I can just bring it up and around uh, and it should work pretty well there now a little bit maybe of not the best play that by doing that the, the reason that I say this is because like all the floor and stuff still hasn't been finished in the actual cold water tank and if we hook up everything then that kind of implies that we're ready for the water to flow and it's not really I mean I don't suppose it's really a mistake it's just kind of like prioritizing in the wrong order which you know it's, it's just kind of that's how you play the game right you prioritize things in the wrong order until eventually you get to the thing that you were supposed to do right the tank of water there is almost entirely out of germs we have a less than a couple of hundred slime lung left in there so we really are ready to start pumping that out and about finding new places where we need to put deodorizers down no big problem deodorizers are cheap sand is plentiful so that shouldn't be a problem just like looking at the color spectrum in my base i think you can understand why i want to do that definitely want to 
to have the base filled with nothing but crisp, clean, pure, fresh oxygen. Uh, looking at some different ways of actually controlling these water tanks now, uh, I would like to do some sort of uh, hydro sensor going to a bunch of cut off valves. I think that would be a good one. Though, of course, we're actually going to need some sort of automation for this because we want it to turn off when the tank fills but not turn on again until the tank empties. So that's uh, something to bear in mind there. The reason that I uh, think about that is because once we actually get some of that water flowing, in fact, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait until uh, that moment uh, there. Well, we just want to try and get all our duplicates are trying to work on to these pipes here. Working out kind of all right. You can see the new ones put down on the right-hand side are actually insulated pipes. That's good. Just takes a little bit of time to uh, get them uh, down. And I uh, have to say now we're just kind of entering into another holding pattern as we wait for these guys to uh, finish their jobs. People going around doing the wires, doing the pipes, uh, doing everything that can uh, be uh, done. But it's, it's all about resource management, right? It's all about waiting for the people to deliver stuff around. This is why I want more people on the delivery side and the tidy side and stuff like that. And I just wish the day was a little bit longer, you know? My guys were coming up, they were, they were very nearly at the point where they could have done it there. I uh, sped through that evening using the power of the in-game time system. It might be something that you noticed that I don't do uh, very often. Uh, I record the vast majority of this at the normal speed of gameplay. Uh, just because when I'm playing, I'm just kind of, you know kicking back uh, watching watching things go down sometimes I'm even watching uh, watching other youtubers and such forth whilst this is kicking over because there are a few things that do take a long time in this game and this is why I am playing back at six a times a speed here there are a few places where the pipes aren't quite getting reached but a few extra temporary ladders in the right place comes through and uh, saves the day really wanting that that pod to get done at the top there the main thing that's uh, surprising me is the fact that the liquid vent has hasn't been done. Uh, now, I've started to notice in a few situations all around the base that there are places where copper is trying to get delivered, but is not actually working for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Also, small outbreak of slime lung again. It's all to do with the polluted oxygen. It's a big issue in my base right now. I know how to fix it. I'm in the middle of fixing it. It's just going to take some time to fix it. Just, It's literally just about cleaning the air. Once the air is clear and everything stays nice and fresh, then it's all good. You can see that I put the priorities of those deodorizers up to nine. That's not just for building, but also for their uh, sand delivery, because just getting this place clean, very high priority right now. But of course, once the... Uh, once the oxygen is clean, then the sand will not be being used, so it doesn't really matter that it's on a 9, because, like, it doesn't have a job to be done. Um, we look down for another duplicate, and I'm like, uh, do we need any of these? Yes, we do, and welcome, a wise, you are a new operator. Again, up to the relegationary stakes of the non-patrons, though I hear wise might actually be moving to the middle bunks at some point. That'd, that'd be very interesting. I literally never moved Jupiter from one base, uh, from one bed to another at any point. I've often toyed with the idea of building another bunk, like out in the cold biome or something like that, you know, where people are needed. But I never actually got round to doing so. So uh, moving a duplicate will be um, will be a, a rare treat, something that doesn't happen that often. Okay, so we, uh, we again are in the holding pattern of doom. Uh, this is slime lung spreading everywhere. It's actually going to take a few days for this to get sorted out. I'm uh, very tempted to do something that I don't do uh, normally in this game, and that is perform a small uh, jump cut. And I tell you, if I talk for too much longer and run out of things to say, then maybe we will do so. But watching Tommy do a little bit of a sweep up there, watching people deal with the sleep wheat. Uh, so, so the sleep wheat is definitely something that I need to deal with at some point. Also, you notice that I was replacing the water vent there at the top. That's because I've got a feeling that the job kind of got lost somewhere or maybe it's been dealt with one, one of the people in the med bay or something like that. So if I wipe the job out and then put it back, it should be all right to deal with, hopefully. Hopefully, another duplicate will come along and pick up the job. Uh, who knows? I mean, that that... That's the thing with the priority system, right? Whilst I do have, like, secondary builders and stuff like that, they are generally more interested in their primary job. So let's say that Tommy, and I think this is actually a true case here, Tommy has a secondary interest of building, and I've given him a, a single arrow up rather than a double arrow up for that, which means that as long as there's nothing to tidy up, he'll come along and do the building. Now, the problem with that is, of course, 
my base is a there's an absolute dump there is always things to tidy up so i don't know how long it is going to take for tommy to be able to like free up his tidying skills and go do some building thankfully i did also put the care jobs at the same priority as the highest one that i could possibly do so the the care jobs always take uh always take president well not so much president but they they do take quite a high place on that table with these final bits of no no i thought they were going to put the final bits of wiring in place my a bad it turns out the pump has got put into place so the uh, whole idea of dropping the job and putting it back into place seems to be going there's a lot of places in this past sentence but that's okay we've got the wire in and built let's try and not use that p word again we've got the, the wires in and built and now hopefully waiting for someone to come along and construct that water vent over there this may take a little bit of time so we're going to watch tommy go around and do a few of his jobs or or not i mean i thought i was going to watch tommy for a little while but as always turns out that the long time in game is not quite so long when you are uh, doing the post edit at six times the speed so i've noticed a few pockets of out uh, of dirty oxygen that need to be cleaned up put down some deodorant is there and I'm going through checking all this stuff on the floor to make sure that none of it is polluted uh, ice because we don't want dirty water in our nice clean basin you know as soon as the water drops onto snow ice whatever it's going to immediately melt it because it's a high temperature uh, and that will then join whatever water we have there and that means that any polluted oxygen uh, polluted water sorry really really needs to be removed but in essence we are, we're actually done with this this little thing here you can see i'm trying to like get rid of the the ladder up there replace it with a tile but in essence we are set and ready to go so the thing that i need to do is throw the switch on the wire uh, just underneath the base you can see there is there uh, the one with the little toggle switch next to it right in the middle of my screen lower middle if you will uh, and that is the only thing we're waiting for for the water to start flowing but there is a little bit of a problem, and that problem is it doesn't matter how long I wait, none of my duplicates are going to come and throw that switch. And uh, when I say uh, hang on and wait, I actually end up waiting here for a good couple of days. So we're going to have to find other things to talk about why we're doing that. And the things that I really want to address are things like how to get around water tanks and stuff like that. Because obviously water tanks, they kind of end up taking up a whole load of room. And, and as you have noticed, I have done a very bad job of planning my walkways. Almost all my walkways are uh, sort of semi-connected to the actual building that they're going to, if you will. So, for instance, we've got, like, the oven room is, is like, right in the major walkway there. So I would like to move everything out and move, move things around and stuff like that. And I will probably get to this at some point, especially, like, that bottom water tank. That could easily just be put, like, above the, the next one up, and then we've moved everything out of the way. In fact, I might do that. Pre-planning is my point. Anyway, pre-planning is kind of what you want to get on for. Taking a quick look at the vitals, I can see there are four people with slime lung right now. Not great, as we've only got three beds, and really only two of them are properly viable, and the other one is just kind of spreading more slime lung around the base. So that's definitely something that I need to watch out for. Another thing that I want to watch out for is making sure that I don't drop any more polluted ice from the ceiling into the water tank. Same reasons as whilst I was cleaning up the water tank of any polluted ice, I just don't want to drop stuff in there so i'm watching that top set of tiles for when they get filled in and then giving any uh dig orders that need to be done thankfully there doesn't appear to be anything serious around the outside checking everybody's jobs here and i noticed that life support is a new thing i don't know if it's a new thing actually but it's a thing that i have not paid any attention to before now so i give a few people shroud because tommy people like this that are walking around the base normally anyway give them a bit more of a bump on the priority for that just to make sure we don't run out of oxygen or anything silly like that that should help out immensely still we are waiting for that switch to be thrown you can see that i'm just sat here waiting i'm like okay well how long is this actually going to take what can we do about this uh maybe maybe one of the jobs here is to operate well, um, yes there are lots of operator jobs and i'm now looking through people who have the jobs turns out wise uh is our low level operator and sir steve mid-level or again uh, he's the highest one we've got but he's still only mid-level operator and i was uh, wondering whether that had anything to do with the fact that people aren't throwing switches is I, I actually don't know if anyone can help me out there with what job it is is in charge of throwing switches and how i can prioritize that over everything else despite the fact that it's already at priority nine I, like switches are important switches need to be thrown pretty pretty quick pretty damn quick uh so that's that's something to watch out for uh, at some point I just give up. Uh, at some point, I do indeed just give up. And I think if you guys will allow me, we're just going to jump forward half a cycle here. And I go ahead and put the uh, switch onto a deconstruct. I, like I say, I've had enough. I'm, I'm 
fed up of waiting for them. I mean, what can go wrong with taking all control away from your outflow from your hot water tank? I, I don't know. What could definitely go wrong? Well, let's find out, shall we? As the water flows towards the cold tank over there, everything looks to be going well. And I set up my temperature sensor in such a way that it will only turn on when the water is appropriately chilled. As you can see, below 18 degrees is what I settle on. That's quite good. That's that's good. I, I will take that. Thankfully, when it is exposed just to the air, it's down to like lower temperatures than that. So we're not going to end up just pumping any old rubbish. But... Hopefully at some point I will uh, zoom out and notice that I have a little bit of an issue on the go. Uh, it's going to take some time for this to actually get down to the proper temperature. You can see there it's current temperature 25. That's going up. But look! We're getting water flow through the uh, the vent on the left hand side there. A panic in shoes and I'm like, okay, turn it down. And what do you know? They it now needs a duplicate to turn it down like that for you, which uh, I'm, I'm not impressed with. But we do manage to stop the flow eventually. I'm like, okay. We'll just wait. I chop the wire. It turns out it's better than putting a switch down. Uh, and we're just going to wait for that slime lung to die. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today we did a whole um, bunch of random things, mostly waiting for our duplicates to not be ill anymore. But we got our water system uh, finally set up, and we're starting to set up for the natural gas generator down below. But I will see you next time when we're going to continue on with these things, get the exo, exo suits sorted, and also that power. But I will see you then where we're going to do that. Bye!